Hello everyone. Welcome to GRE question of the day. Today we will discuss a question on linear equations and inequalities. As you can see, our today's question is a multiple choice question with a single correct answer. In this question, we are given that a minus b lies between minus 1 and 10. And it is also given that b is an integer which lies between minus 3 and 1 including both the values. Now we are asked to find the range of a square. Before we move on I would request all of you to pause this video and try to solve this question on your own. In case you couldn't do it do not lose hope since I am here to help you out. Before we move on to the detailed solution let us take a quick glance at the correct answer. As you can see the correct answer is option 4. That is, a square takes values between 0 and 121. Now let us see how we arrived at this particular answer. As you can see, it is given to us that a minus b takes values between minus 1 and 10. And we are given that b is an integer which has values from minus 3 to 1. Now let us put the minimum value of b that is minus 3 in the first inequality and see the range of a. Thus, when we put b equals to minus 3 in the first inequality, we have minus 1 is less than a plus 3 less than 10. Thus giving us the range of a as minus 4 to 7. Now, if we put the maximum value of b in the first inequality, let us check out the range of A as well. Hence, when B is equal to 1, we see that the first equation, first inequality becomes A minus 1 lies between minus A1 and 10. Thus giving us a range of A between 0 and 11. Thus, on combining the two obtained inequalities, we see that A takes values between minus 4 and 11. Now we see that a can take negative values as well but in that case also a square will always be greater than 0. Hence the lower value of a square is always 0 and we know that a is always less than 11 thus a square is always less than 121 thus giving us option 4 as the correct answer. I hope you guys could follow the solution in case you couldn't Please pause this video and go through the type solution here. With this, we come to an end of our today's session. We'll be back soon with more videos. Until then, keep working hard. Thank you and all the best.